Hey love bugs, it is time for another secret letter, okay? Now shout out to all the baby mamas out there, all the stepmoms and stepdads. This one is for you. I got this letter and I just had to read it this week, all right? So the letter starts off by saying, why is it that stepmothers never get any credit? My husband had two children from a previous relationship when we met. They're, they were four and five when we married. We mar we've been married going on five years this October. The mother had some issues and ran off about a year before we got together, but now she is back and it has been hell. She comes out of nowhere saying she has um, her life together and demanding all these rights that I feel she gave up six damn years ago. She shows up without any warning calling my husband all times of night and texting, and I just know it's not all about the kids. I explained to my husband how I was feeling, but he's not any comfort. I feel like I'm losing my family, my kids. They are mine. They call me their mom. I just don't know what to do. Do you think there is any way through this? Well, yes. I mean, there's always a way through anything, okay? Now... I can just imagine what you're going to. You practically raised these children, okay? It's been five years, so what's that? They're nine and ten now, okay? So I can I can imagine, you know, what you're going through. But we have to realize that although this woman has been gone, and I know it had to be at the back of your mind that she's coming back soon, you know, or one day. Now, she still has rights. She gave birth to them, so they are technically her children. So I think that, you know, and you listen, guys, I am not a therapist. This is Let's Talk, Girl Talk. We're just having some conversation, okay? These are just my opinions and, you know, and how I would handle things and what I would advise for, you know what I'm saying, someone that's close to me, okay? Now, okay, she, there has to be some boundaries, okay? Now, you have to set up, you and your husband have to get together. Y'all need to be on one accord. Y'all need to be solid as a team because I can guarantee you if she see a fracture in between y'all, she gonna worm her way back in, all right? So be careful, okay? You and your husband get on the same page, lay down the law, okay? Let her know. You can see the kids, you know, here and the kids, okay? Think about the kids, all right? This woman comes out of nowhere saying, they probably remember her they probably don't but this stranger you know because that's what she is she's a stranger and she's coming out of nowhere saying you know she the mama okay and she and she wants to spend time with them the kids have to get accl acclimated with the new you know environment and you know you guys have to talk to them first let them know how things are going and, and how things are going to change and then go from there but she has to know don't be calling after 5 p.m. Okay, 9 to 5. 9 to 5. 9 to 5. Okay, don't be calling past 5 o'clock. Okay, because then that, that's going to get issues between your husband. Then you're going to break up your home. We don't want all that. Okay, so lay down the law. She get them on the weekends, every other weekend, just like if it was a man. All right. And, you know, you guys got to be mature enough to co-parent, all right? But you can't just expect her to go away. Now, what you should have done and what you could have done is, you know, maybe around the two, three years of marriage, talked about adopting the kids, you know what I'm saying? And then you could have found out then where the mom's headspace was, okay? But um, that's all I have for you, and I wish you the best of luck. I just, just be mature, don't spaz out. Don't cause any unnecessary drama, okay? Because we don't need that. Because at the end of the day, it's all about the children and their well-being, okay? So that's all we care. We, we know you got emotions, girl. We know you're feeling some type of way. But it's not about you, okay? It's not. It's about those kids and what's best for them. So keep that first and foremost, okay? Now, if any of you guys have a letter you would like to share and start a conversation, Hit your girl up and let's talk some girl talk. Contact at chrisking.com and I will see you guys next week. Peace.